Multiple personalities are at the heart of a number of books, movies, and TV shows. And they're at the heart of a contentious debate. Multiple choice is our cover story, reported now by Tracy Smith. I know about the, the MPD, the multiple personalities. You could call it the roll or rolls of a lifetime. Somebody's got puppies in the oven. <laughs> hey, honey, it's me, Tara. In the TV show United States of Tara, Tony Collette plays just one woman who has multiple personalities. Wait, you're who? We've met Buck, who is this very sort of aggressive male personality that she has. We've met T, who's a very kind of a sexualized teenage personality. And Alice, who's the ultimate homemaker. They all come from the mind of Diablo Cody, the Oscar-winning writer of the hit film Juno. You're gonna think I'm insane. Well, I'm sure you already do. <laughs> She created the series for the CBS cable network, Showtime. Have people in the audience, have viewers, recognized themselves in Tara? Said, maybe I have this disorder? Have you gotten that reaction? You know, it surprises me. People actually have said that. Though Tara doesn't exist in real life, many therapists say her illness sure does. How real is Tara? Tara is extremely real, but extremely, um, unrealistic. Why are you here instead of mom? Your mom's in a bad place mentally. Yeah. What I mean to say is everything that Tara demonstrates is real. I've seen it many, many times over. What is unrealistic is that you see so much of it so quickly. This is just unsanitary. I'll wrap it up, Doris Day. It's Tara concentrated. Is, precisely. Tara is a concentrate. Dr. Richard Cluft is a psychiatrist who teaches at Temple University Medical School in Philadelphia and consults on Tara. Today, doctors prefer the less flashy name Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID, to Multiple Personality Disorder, MPD. They are the same. What's typical? How many personalities are typical in an MPD case? In an MPD case in the United States these days, about 16 for women and about 8 for men. Cluft says most people with this disorder develop multiple personalities, or alters, as a way to cope with trauma or abuse. Whatever allows you to say, this did not happen to me. This is not going to happen to me again. I'm someone else. And believe it or not, according to Cluft, multiple personalities often go unnoticed. So do you think that there are, what, thousands of people walking around out there with MPD who don't even know it? Oh, easily. Tens of thousands? Easily. Hundreds of thousands? Easily. Millions? We might be at that level. But there are other therapists who say the number's not in the millions, but zero, that not even a single case of multiple personalities is real. The whole concept, not Sigmund Freud, but junk science. I believe all MPD cases are artificial productions provoked by the attention doctors and others give them, all of them. Dr. Paul McHugh is a professor and former head of psychiatry at Johns Hopkins Medical School in Baltimore. People are persuaded that they have multiple personalities embedded within them and uh, are encouraged to bring them out in the process of trying to get treatment for depression or anxiety or things of that sort. If you're not Eve White, who are you? I'm Eve Black. You know that. It all began, says Dr. McHugh, not with shrinks, but celluloid. First, the film Three Faces of Eve in 1957. Then, Sybil, in 1976. I hate Sybil. I hate her. Who are you? Before Sybil, there were fewer than 200 reported cases in the world. Do you like my hair? Not long afterward, there were 8,000 in the United States alone. It's a story generated by Sybil and generated by the people who followed on after it. Multiple personality and trauma are two separate things. and. These people have put them together as though they do match, but they only match in story form. We are in Oz here. If MPD is make-believe, you wouldn't expect to find it in a manual, the dsm 4 the Bible of mental health professionals used to diagnose mental disorders. Symptoms include the presence of two or more distinct identities or personality states. At least two of these recurrently take control of the person's behavior, plus an inability to recall important personal information. The DSM authors claim that as many as 1% of Americans have the disorder. 
But even that doesn't sway detractors, like Dr. Paul McHugh. So wait, the DSM doesn't validate that, that a disease is actually out there? Absolutely no. All it says is, this is what several people say exists, and this is what it looks like to them. How many different personalities do you think you had? Oh, geez, I probably had a bunch of them. Give me a number. Dozen? Oh, yeah, I've, I got a dozen. At yeah, least a dozen. Percent, yes. MPD is no fantasy to this former ball player, a Heisman Trophy winner, arguably one of the greatest running backs of all time. And they run a trap with Herschel Walker, got a hole five! Ten, Herschel five, Walker, 20, the University 20, of Georgia All-American, recently revealed that he's been diagnosed with multiple personalities. Man, did he turn it on when he had to! Walker, now a successful businessman, says he developed the disorder when he was a kid. I had a stuttering problem, I had a speech problem. I couldn't put a sentence together. And, and the kids teased you? The kids teased me all the time. And you think that abuse was severe enough that you started well, developing these multiple Well, it wasn't a point that it was severe. It, it was severe enough. He describes his alters in an autobiography. They don't have names, just titles, like the general, who tried to keep his alters in line, and the warrior, a competitive personality who was uncontrollable, the one who made him play Russian roulette. And I remember putting a, uh, a bullet in a gun and spinning it, sitting there and putting it to my head and pulling it. What do you think would have happened to you if you didn't get therapy? Oh, I, I could have ended up in jail, dead, uh, could have hurt someone. You know there's a lot of debate about this. Yes. There are respected therapists out there who say... Why this... are they respected? <laughs> no, no, I'm being serious. Why are they respected? By their peers, by, you okay, know, there, there are, their are people peers who respected? say... That's what I'm saying. These are doctors, but I'm the one that have been through it. They're very good at saying that, but I'm here to just to say, you know, uh, they didn't have to go through it. But there are scores of patients who did go through it, treatment, that is, who say their lives were ruined by therapists who convinced them they had a disorder that didn't exist. Mike Wallace of 60 Minutes spoke to one of them in 1997, Nadine Cool. 126 different personalities. What does that mean, Nadine? It means that I had 126 different people. In you? Inside me. And you believed in multiple personality disorder? He taught me to believe in multiple So you believed? Yes. She sued her psychiatrist, who settled the case for $2.3 million. Dr. Cluft closely watched that case and others where doctors paid big money. Settling is not an admission of guilt. Settling is a way of ending a process in a way that's agreeable to the various parties. Who is this? I can't remember what this one is called. But Hollywood is of one mind about MPD. And with child. Spellbound. After all, Tara's creators are not doctors, but dramatists. The series, not science, but showbiz. Are you adding to the discussion about whether this is a real disorder? I think so, for better or for worse. Um, but to, to generate discussion at all, I see that as a positive thing. I mean, why can't she just stop? I mean, it's not even a real disease, Max. It's real, Charmy. Renewed for another season, Tara will continue to raise questions about mental illness. Multiple questions.